Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm gonna play with some latex and fake blood. I'm gonna do kind of like a half, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, really. I am not by any means a professional special effects artist. This is like super amateur, things you could buy at like the Halloween store or something. So I'm gonna just show y'all something fun, easy. Um, you need like five things. We have fake vampire blood. I got this for $7.99 at Halloween store. And then latex. This stuff stinks, y'all. Like it is, this it stinks. But it is scary, so we're gonna go ahead and use it anyway. So I've had my makeup on for a few hours. Actually, for probably like 10 hours now. But I just wanna do this fun special effects video for you guys. So I'm pretty much gonna do like bloody, gory ish stuff over here on this part of my face. And then I'm gonna leave this looking all cute. So I'm gonna grab some of this latex and I'll pour it into a plate. a little like clear thing on the top that way it doesn't spill which is good because it's kid proof but I can't open it either so I probably should have opened this before the video so oh there we go use any cheap brush I'm gonna use this real technique brush because it's falling apart and it's really old and I don't care to use it so I'm gonna just pour some latex onto this plate oh it stinks so I'm gonna grab a white eyeliner this is the NARS Santa Monica Boulevard one I use it a lot for my lower lash line but today we're gonna use it on my face something like that now I have a mustache I started right under my sideburns because your girl is Mexican and I'm a little hairy, so start right under that. And yes, I do shave my sideburns. I actually shave my entire face because it makes my makeup look a lot more flawless and yeah. So I'm gonna grab tissue and this is just regular two ply tissue and we're gonna split it in half. So you just open it up and bam. Now what I'm gonna do is I don't want it to be like straight on my face. So I'm gonna just rip up the edges a little bit. Make them look as messy as you want. It looks something like that. Do like all around. So just piecing it up. Grabbing my Real Techniques brush. I'm gonna start placing latex where I will be placing the tissue. Ooh, this thing's y'all. So if you got a fan, keep it on. I'm gonna grab this piece of tissue. And like I said, just make it ugly. It does not have to be perfect. The messier, the better. And I'm gonna just stick that on there. See how it kind of looks perfect now? I don't want it to look perfect, so I'm gonna rip a little bit off. Just like that. Going in with more latex. I'm gonna be placing that over it. Whew, gotta turn on the fan. So I'm just gonna make sure that I've laid the edges gonna look funky so going back just kind of messing with it it's gonna get messy that's totally fine like I said the messier the better doing the same thing to the other side pretty much everywhere under that white line got some on my shirt oh good thing this is a shirt that I don't use oh! man now it's running it's okay just grab one of your tissues and wipe it off you want to do just make it look messy because we want it to look all funky and see how it looks like it looks like a beard <laughs> go back and kind of mess with the edges a little bit Put any up there I haven't decided it's just a pretty strong smell but put a little bit on top just make it look nasty 
going back with our latex and just stippling on top and what better brush to use than a stippling brush right put a little bit here getting a little hard to talk Okay, so now I'm gonna let this dry and we'll go on to the next part. So now that we're nice and dry, I'm gonna go in with some foundation. I'm going to use the new matte velvet skin tint from Makeup Forever. I'm gonna grab some on my, put it on my hand. I'm going with this like cheap, no name brush that I got forever ago because if it gets ruined with the latex, I don't care. So if you're gonna be doing stuff like this, use cheap brushes, use brushes that you don't care. brushes you like elf brushes anything that you don't care if it gets ruined in case uh, you mess it up or it smells funky afterwards just because it's like you're not gonna use them you know so picking up my foundation I'm gonna start putting it on my face already starting to look nasty now that we have that we're gonna start adding like random red and dark spots to our face so I'm gonna grab this old BH cosmetics party girl palette so I'm gonna pick up this red shade and then like this dark brown almost black color and kind of just start placing it in like little dents little dents of the tissue Definitely want to put some in here. This is lifting, so I definitely want to put some in here. Start lifting on its own, which is good because we're gonna end up pulling it in a little bit anyway. Now if you have a red blush, that probably is going to be better because this is so time consuming since it's so little, but what is? I'm using what I've got. It's going to be a mess taking this off, but that's why I use oils to take off my makeup. So now that we have the red, we're gonna go in with a dark brown or black and start placing it where the latex is already lifting and kind of just in random areas of the face just to give it more dimension. Perfect. So now that I have that on there, I have this whole chunk right here that is pretty perfect. It's just like all tissue. So we're going to go in, we're going to pinch it and open it up. Because it's dried <laughs> and dried up, I'm going to wrinkle my face a little bit and see if I can get some. There we go. There we go. Start ripping it open. We'll go back in with the shadows too give it color open it up like that probably open this up a little bit more just make it look nasty come over here make it a little holy over here looks like it hurts but it really doesn't because I'm not actually doing it to my skin it's just a tissue and I did a thick layer so 
definitely doesn't hurt. I have to work tomorrow at 8 in the morning. We have a, a work meeting and I really hope, <laughs> I really hope this doesn't stay in my face. And if it does, I'll just wear a full coverage foundation. I get off early too, so it's okay. I'm just like, ugh, first thing in the morning, people are gonna see my face is all red. And they're like, what is going on at home, girl? Alrighty, so now that it looks nasty and PC, we're gonna go back in with some eyeshadow using that same brush and red shadow. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna start kind of like filling it in pretty much. Going back in with the brown, adding dimension. So now for the fun part, blood. Ooh, this thick, look at this. Look at this, oh yes. Going back with my Real Techniques brush, pick some of the blood up and start dimpling on the face. Ooh, y'all, this is making me so excited oh my gosh and if you're gonna do something like this please read the labels because sometimes things like this aren't meant meant for the face it can be for the body or um, some people try to do it on their eyes and it may not be safe I mean I think it might be but I'd rather y'all check your labels and stuff cuz better safe than sorry adding more of that like red and brown I'm going a little higher I'm putting some on my nose I originally started out here right if <laughs> you look where I'm at now <laughs> all right so I'm literally just grabbing some of that red and that brown and just pushing it up y'all I'm going to work tomorrow I really hope this does not stain oh my god ah oh well I do it for y'all <laughs> I do it for y'all though. Okay. I'm just adding some more blood on top. Just kind of like, kind of applying it everywhere and see how it makes everything look a little bit more vibrant. So the last thing that I did was I ended up grabbing black eyeshadow and kind of just rubbing it all over my lips to make it look more scary because I wasn't feeling that glittery red. I changed my mind. I didn't want to be pretty anymore. And I ripped up a little bit more over here to make it look more messy. Um, <laughs> almost, is this how it feels for you guys? We have a beard. Oh, okay. See, now I go messing it up. Oh, snap. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something from me today. Um, if you recreate this look, I would love to see it. So definitely tag me on Instagram. I'm going to post my Instagram at the end of the video along with song credit. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to come hang out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate it. And you'll see me soon. Bye.